Anthony Aliwafemi Alassini Joshua was born on October 15, 1989 in Watford, Hertfordshire, the son of Yetta and Robert Joshua. His mother is Nigerian, while his father is of Nigerian and Irish ancestry. Joshua's Nigerian background can be specifically traced back to the Yoruba people, amongst whom he is of aristocratic rank. His cousin, Ben Iliemi, is also a professional boxer. The pair made their professional debuts together in 2013. Joshua spent some of his early years in Nigeria as a boarding school student at Mayflower School in Iken. Following his parents' divorce when he was 12, he returned to the UK halfway through year 7 to join King's Langley Secondary School. Growing up on the Meriden estate in Garston, Hertfordshire, he was called Femi by his friends and former teachers, due to his middle name, Aliwafemi. He excelled at football and athletics and broke his school's year 9 100m record with a time of 11.6 seconds. Joshua is a British professional boxer. He is a two-time former unified world heavyweight champion, having held the World Boxing Association WBA, Superversion, International Boxing Federation IBF, and World Boxing Organization WBO, titles twice between 2016 and 2021. He also held the International Boxing Organization IBO, title twice during that reign. At regional level, he held the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles from 2015 to 2016. As an amateur, Joshua represented England at the 2011 World Championships in the Super Heavyweight Division, winning a silver medal. He also represented Great Britain at the 2012 Olympics, winning gold. In 2014, a year after turning professional, he was named Prospect of the Year by The Ring magazine. In 2017, his victorious fight against Vladimir Klitschko was named Fight of the Year by The Ring and the Boxing Writers Association of America. Joshua is the second English boxer, after James DeGale, to win both a gold medal at the Olympics and a world title by a major professional sanctioning body, as well as the first English heavyweight to do so. As of October 2022, Joshua is ranked as the world's second best active heavyweight by BoxRec, third by The Ring, and fourth by Transnational Boxing Rankings Board and ESPN, as well as the sixth best active boxer, pound for pound, by BoxRec. He has been ranked by BoxRec as among the world's top 10 heavyweights since 2014, and was ranked at number 1 at the conclusion of 2016 and 2017. Joshua's knockout to win percentage stands at 88%, with an overall knockout percentage of 58% in world heavyweight title fights. About Anthony Joshua Personal Life Joshua has expressed an interest in chess as well as reading as a way to reinforce his boxing and tactical abilities. He was a bricklayer before taking up boxing full-time. In 2009, Joshua was put on remand in reading prison for what he describes as fighting and other crazy stuff. He was made to wear an electronic tag on his ankle when released. In March 2011, Joshua was pulled over by the police for speeding in Colendale, North London. He was found with 8 ounces, 226.8 grams, of herbal cannabis hidden in a sports bag in his Mercedes-Benz. He was charged with possession with intent to supply a Class B drug, an offense that carries a maximum 14-year sentence. Joshua was suspended from the GB boxing squad and was sentenced to a 12-month community order and 100 hours, unpaid work after pleading guilty at Crown Court. Joshua previously stated in 2012 that he does not support a football team, but when asked in an interview in 2017, he said that although he supports his local team Watford FC, his overall favorite team was Real Madrid CF because of Cristiano Ronaldo, as Ronaldo was a Real Madrid player at the time. In the same interview, he also described English footballer Troy Deeney, who he met by chance at a local barbershop in his hometown Watford, as his good friend. In an interview with IFL TV in July 2014, Joshua named Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, Lennox Lewis, and Evander Holyfield as his top five greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. Joshua fathered a son named Joseph J.J. Joshua, with dance teacher Nicole Osborne, in 2015. In 2020, Joshua spoke about his positive relationship with his longtime promoter Eddie Hearn, who has promoted him since his professional debut in 2013, saying that he and Eddie will always have a great friendship. In 2023, Joshua joined the investment group of the Alpine Racing Team of Formula One. Anthony Joshua's philanthropic efforts and community service have garnered admiration and respect. In 2018, he established the Anthony Joshua Foundation with a mission to empower and inspire young people through education, skill development, and community support services. His desire to give back and create positive change reflects his commitment to uplifting others. 
Additionally, Joshua has made substantial donations to fund amateur boxing in Britain, expressing his hope that the next generation of fighters will thrive. His actions extend beyond the ring, demonstrating that greatness lies not only in victories but also in the impact one can make on others' lives. Anthony Joshua's journey, from humble beginnings to global stardom, serves as an inspiration to anyone striving for greatness against all odds. His legacy extends beyond championships, leaving an indelible mark on both the sporting world and the hearts of those he uplifts through his philanthropy. About Anthony Joshua Professional Career On July 11, 2013 it was confirmed that Joshua had turned professional under the Matchroom Sport promotional banner. Joshua made his professional debut on October 5, 2013 at the O2 Arena in London in the main event of a card featuring Scott Quigg's successful WBA Super Bantamweight title defense against Yoandra Salinas, beating Italian Emanuele Leo by a technical knockout TKO, in the first round. Joshua's second fight was against English heavyweight Paul Butlin at the Motorpoint Arena in Sheffield on October 26, 2013. The bout was stopped in the second round when the referee decided Butlin was taking too much punishment and declared Joshua the winner by TKO. Joshua's third fight was on the Prizefighter Series card against Croatian Hervoje Kizasek on November 14, 2013. Joshua got a TKO victory in the second round, achieving his third knockout, KO, victory in a row. On July 16, 2015, it was announced that Joshua would fight undefeated Scottish boxer Gary Cornish, 21-0, 12 KOs, for the vacant Commonwealth heavyweight title at the O2 Arena, London, on September 12. At the time of the fight, Cornish was the IBO Intercontinental Champion. Joshua won the vacant title by stopping Cornish at just 90 seconds in the first round. Cornish was knocked down twice before the fight was officially stopped. In the post-fight, Joshua said, Gary had a solid jab so I had to make sure I didn't take any of those shots. He was throwing a large jab and I tried to slip it. I managed to land the right hand and it was a perfect connection and he went down. Immediately after Joshua stopped Cornish, Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn, confirmed Dillian White would next put his undefeated record on the line against Joshua. Joshua met White in a grudge match for the vacant British heavyweight title on December 12, 2015, whilst also defending his Commonwealth heavyweight title for the first time. The fight took place on Skybox office. The two had previously fought within the amateur rankings in 2009 where White had won. After surviving the first scare of his career in the second round, Joshua won the fight after initially shaking White with a right hook to the temple and eventually finishing with a devastating uppercut for the KO in the seventh round. It is said that Joshua earned £3 million for this fight alone, as a result of signing a new five-year deal with Matchroom which sees him take a share of the PPV revenue earned. In October 2023, reports stated that Joshua could potentially face Deontay Wilder on December 23 on the same card alongside Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik in Saudi Arabia. On November 11th however, reports then stated that Joshua and Wilder would both be fighting on December 23rd but against different opponents. On November 15, it was announced that Joshua would face Otto Wallen on December 23rd while Wilder would face Joseph Parker as the co-feature bout. Joshua defeated Wallen by RTD after Wallen's corner decided not to let the fighter continue after round 5. About Anthony Joshua House Anthony Joshua, the renowned British heavyweight boxer, has an impressive real estate portfolio. Joshua's North London flat is a simple yet elegant abode. It features two bedrooms and one bathroom. The boxer seems to appreciate the beauty of simplicity in his personal space. For a period, Anthony Joshua resided in a luxurious villa in St. John's Wood. This mansion boasted several opulent features, seven bedrooms offering ample space for relaxation and privacy, wine cellar perfect for connoisseurs and wine enthusiasts, home cinema a place to unwind and enjoy movies and generous living areas ideal for entertaining guests. Anthony Joshua boasts an estimated net worth of around $80 million. Thanks so much for watching our video, please like, share to your friends and also subscribe to our channel.